Excuse the noise, it's rather warm in here and my PC is running on overtime because it's rendering a video of kinds. Don't know. Anyway, these are hub sinks which go on there. Uh, this thing needs desperately cleaning. It's disgusting. Well, it's not. It just needs cleaning. These things are supposed to dissipate heat by 40% better uh, than currently. Now, when you apply these, these came from fasterbikes.eu, I think it was. Uh, link in the description down there. These are um, you have to apply thermal grease, which they apply here, they, they supply with it. Nuts and bolts, which they supply with it. Spanners, which they don't supply with it. These can only go on one at a time. I can't attach two. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get them in without knackering the coating on the, or the paint on the, on the spokes, which you can see has already started coming off because it was only a light coat. I'm going to get another set of spokes but they're going to be black and proper. So I'm going to put them on because this hub it doesn't get ridiculously hot. Well no it does. <laughs> it's, it's not bad bad but it gets hot. Plus which I'm doing designing version 3 and it's going to be generating a lot more heat so I really do need to do something with the cooling. So I'm going to put them on. Them on there. That's them done. Believe it or not it's just taken me four hours to do that. Purely because me being a dickhead I didn't even think that when you put the heat sink paste on and it starts going everywhere and then you try and clean it off that the paint might come off the spokes <laughs> so I've had to clean all the paint off the spokes <laughs> oh dear so now I've got white spokes or chrome spokes which I don't know about I don't know it's quite I think it looks quite good I'm not sure. The next ones that I get, um, I'm going to get some more made, which I'm going to be putting on uh, when I do version three, which they're either going to be anodized or, or or chrome. I don't know which yet. I quite like it actually. I do like it. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, the hub sinks are on. Now I advise if you're going to get these things make sure the wheels off make sure your spokes are all out make sure that everything's nice and clear so as you can just put the bloody things on because they are an absolute nightmare they're not so, so much of a nightmare to actually get on but the heat sink paste because it will come out inevitably inevitably it'll come out somewhere and you have to clean it off afterwards now when i clean my bike i clean it with wd-40 and that's it believe it or not um, I just get WD-40, wipe it down and then wipe it all off again so it comes up perfectly but that's on so I'm going to do some tests I don't know when when I go out next I think well when else are you going to do it Tony you dickhead if you buy one of the 24S uh, BMS's it does that between 8 and 24 cells if you buy one of those, this is the app that you'll probably see that you get with it when you email them and say, I can't use it. Uh, this is probably the one they're going to send you because all the Chinese manufacturers are going to, uh, they've all got the same, uh, the same BMS app now. And this is the one I did. How they've got it, I don't know. But anyway, if you go on to settings, now this is obviously the battery at standing there's no uh, it's not charging it's not running as such it's just standing and connected to it so you've got all these connections here all these um, settings you've also got 
a charge screen which gives you all the cell voltages and the pack voltage and everything else and the current you're using, the watts you're using. So this is version 2. And version 2 at the top we've got the volts and then we've got the amps, we've got the watts, we've got the ampere hours remaining, we've got in the middle there there's the FET voltage, uh, sorry the FET temperature and then the total time running and you've got all your settings here which are all the same as before and there's also some app settings GPS settings this automatically logs all the GPS data, the altitude, the speed, the current uh, everything that you could possibly want, it, it logs the whole lot so what I've done is you can start the GPS tracking when it goes over 10 amps for 5 seconds and then it stops after 600 seconds which is 10 minutes um, it'll stop logging and you can change the, the units to meters per second, kilometers per second, miles per, second, miles per hour and then you can also set your logging interval uh, it was when I did the tests it was only running at every five seconds so it wasn't very accurate I think every every one second is enough this map icon here if you select it it'll give you a list of all the logs all the the, the GPS tracks and everything else and all the logs that it's taken so you can select one of them and it will bring it up on Google Maps of exactly where you've been what you've done the ampage the voltage absolutely everything um, You've also got a manual thing just to start recording GPS and as soon as you start recording GPS that will change from metres to second to uh, miles per hour or kph, whatever you've got it set to. Now this one gives you the individual cell voltages. Now one thing it does when you're charging it automatically detects that you're charging and when the battery's full it bleeps at you it goes beep 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 which is very very good I, I think it's, it's a fantastic solution and what it does is it takes the reading from um, the charge over voltage alarm per cell so if I set that to 4.2 volts so when the alarm goes off in the BMS the alarm will also go off in this um, in the phone so if you're charging it in another room with a smoke detector sitting on top of it or whatever then you, the, your phone will actually bleep at you to say that the battery is fully charged so that's it um, I'll put a link in the description for it but obviously like I say you do need the uh, it's called an ant BMS uh, it's an 8 to 24 cell they also do a 32 cell uh, which it will work on there as well ultimately this is going to replace the cycle analyst and it's around about 80% done uh, trip counters and stuff like that and total mileage and everything else has still got to be added if you buy VBMS version 1 uh, which is that other one that I showed you this one will be as a free upgrade so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you uh, a video that I did uh, when was it now? last week? a video last week that I did I was testing the hub sinks as well to see if I could cool the motor down and they work fantastically but I'll also do one that I was logging the data but it was only every five seconds so anything like when I pin the throttle it doesn't actually show up properly it's only when I go full throttle sustain for five seconds that it'll actually catch up so here's the video if you want the app link below yes it is expensive it's more than a pound but you get a replacement for the cycle analyst Good morning ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning uh, because it's going to be really hot today and I decided to come out on the bike again because it's just too nice. Can you ride tandem? <laughs> 
anyway, I'm uh, I'm out today because uh, well, number one, it's beautiful weather, and number two, I want to check these hub sinks that I've now mounted. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised I don't get bloody kidney stones. I'm out today because of these uh, these. <laughs> Not too cold, not too hot. Although it's going to get about 28, 28 degrees this afternoon. Yeah, it's not going to be for me, unfortunately, because I burn so easily. I reckon if you chuck a match at me, I'd set on fire. I'm testing the uh, the hub sinks to see if it makes any difference to the temperature, and I'm hoping. As you can see in the GoPro actually. I'm hoping that it's going to make a big difference because it wasn't getting too hot but I want to prepare for version 3. Uh, version 3 is going to have more power. So the, the aim of I've got a flight, I've actually got a flight in my sunglasses and they've got this bloody seal around it. <sighs> However, go fly in there. Although the motor doesn't get unbelievably hot, um, yeah, it does get warm. It gets to the point that you can't bloody touch it. So I've put these hub sinks on in the hopes to reduce temperature. And I've only partially charged the battery today, so I can't go too far. But I've decided I'm going to go to the canal because the canal's a nice place to just sit there and ponder and contemplate. I'll pull over to the side of the road so you can go past, but I'm not pulling over. I bloody well refuse. Oh shit, that was a bad idea. The match ain't till this afternoon. Oh shit, oh god, that would have been bloody fatal if I'd have hit that one. I would have gone straight over the bars then sod this so as you can see I'm not going very quick today oh I don't know if I've mentioned it but I found out where the uh, the rattle is uh, unfortunately it's coming from the shunt resistor I reckon there's no other place it can come from so I've got a bit of a, a bit of a problem you see that or my brain's coming loose to take it apart is a major uh, major dissection of things so I'm, I'm not looking forward to that I think it should be all right because there's nothing uh, there's nothing around it, even if it shorts out, even if a shunt resistor shorts out, all it'll do is give you zero current. I mean the readout will give you zero current. It won't break anything, it won't short anything out because it's just on the negative um, line back to the battery. So it's not going to cause any problems if it does short out. Bloody hell's the canal. Oh shit. I'm going the wrong way. My sense of direction is crap. It is absolutely crap. Oh, it's down there. Oh, the acceleration never gets old. Never, 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 never. See, in the UK, you usually see all the grass is usually green. And there isn't a lot of green grass at the minute. There's not as many places as I thought around there. So, oh, bloody hell, oh, this is the place. <sighs> Look at that. Every time I come down here, it just gets even better. It kind of looks a bit dirty. Anyway, I'm going to go down here, because I can. Ooh. This doesn't look steep on camera, but it really is.
the hell was that about? She wasn't going to walk on the bloody pavement. She was going to walk into me if I hadn't moved. Miserable cow. One day, one day soon, I might start telling my uh, life story. Well, not my life story, just a story. Because it's quite, quite eventful. It is quite eventful. With things like, um, I know I've got a daughter. Uh, I was married. Blah blah blah. There's loads. Of, there's loads of different things. There's loads of things to it. You won't believe half of it, but you know, ducks. All right, duck. Oh yeah, one thing. Somebody said I've got a Birmingham accent. But I don't live in Birmingham. I think what it is, when I'm uh, when I'm here, I don't really talk to many people. So I've actually the, the main people who I talk to are the people from Birmingham. Uh, that was a bee. The main people I talk to are in Birmingham. So I may have developed a Birmingham accent, unwanted. I don't like accents. Is that still running? My oh, GoPro's still going. Hello. <sighs> this is going to be a free upgrade to version 2 so as you can get rid of the cycle analyst completely because it'll give you all your trip distance, it'll give you all your, your odometer, it'll give you GPS speed, it'll give you absolutely everything. So it is worth an investment and I'll tell you something, if I was going to buy an e-bike, I'd definitely pay for it. The one downside is you do need the BMS that I've listed in the uh, previous videos. But what I might do is buy, I might buy some BMSs is, 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 and sell them with the app. Bit of a markup, there won't be a lot, just to cover my costs really. So it's worth having a look. There's a link in the description to the app. If you want it, buy it. If you don't, don't care. Don't bother me. God, if you're thinking of building an e-bike, don't think any longer. Just do some research. Like I'm researching uh, version three now. I've got all the major parts like the motor and the speed control has arrived, although I haven't picked it up because it was delivered to work. So, don't think about it, design it. Design the bike, work out how much it's going to cost you. Don't skimp on bloody parts. As I found out, skimping on parts only costs you more in the long run because you end up replacing them because they're not good enough. Even down to things like the, uh, the power switch. The power switch to the BMS. It was only, I think they were only about 20p from bloody China and I regret doing it because it's buggered already. Sometimes I can't turn the, B the BMS on or off which isn't very good especially when you need it for power oh it's such a nice day version 3 is version 3 is uh, going to be one of two things I've got two designs. I'm using this frame because it's tried and tested. Uh, I've got a few things to modify, not modify, upgrade like head bearings, uh, suspension. I think I'm going to be modifying as well. Don't know how. Don't really know what yet. So, head bearings, yes. They've got to be replaced. I may be upgrading the forks as well, I don't know yet. I don't know if I can. Because I don't know what... I don't know what these forks are, whether they're tapered or straight or what the hell they are. So I don't... Uh, the cars go past. I don't want to go too fast because I've only got a t-shirt on and road hurts, believe me. And the reason why I know is... 
you see that? Yeah, that's the result of a motorbike accident. Ooh. A mini! Strangers in the night Exchanging glances No No It's not even warm Not even warm See by now that would be near enough, near enough untouchable, but it just isn't. So what I'm going to do? How much volts have I got? I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go down here. Somewhere. Bloody cars. Test it. I'm still not going bloody flat out. No, 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 no. That should be hot. That motor should be on fire now. It should be ready to bloody pop. If I was doing that speed for that distance without these hub sinks on, it should be. Oh my god. Ow, the brakes up. <laughs> I ain't joking, that's ambient. That is literally, it's ambient temperature. That's not even warm. My god, they do the job absolutely fantastically. I'm going to head off home again. Because it was only a, ow. it was only a quick ride, just to see, uh, just to make sure that the hub sinks work. And I ain't joking; they are absolutely fantastic. Anyway, to all those fifteen thousand people who've decided to subscribe to me for some strange, unknown reason, and the six—it's over six million views on my videos now. So, I just want to personally thank you, because I don't know why you watch the videos, I really don't. I suppose they're educational, uh, maybe interesting, maybe a bit funny at times, especially when I shit myself. And some people like me just saying Sabvaton, don't know what the hell's going on with that. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you next time, and remember... No, I've still got nothing. Scrape your bollocks. <laughs>